All right, guys and gals, DCT makes here. We're going to make a hanging a joint that you can hang st stuff on the wall, televisions, um, pictures, anything. Really, really, really strong um, hanging system out of just a couple of pieces of wood like that. Uh, adjustable left to right real simple as well um, just watch and uh, it's almost the same as when you're cutting um, baseboard and you do a scarf joint in reverse it's gonna get loud here pretty soon just bear with it so I don't cut my fingers off So the saw blade was turned to about 40 degrees. Ooh, need graphite. Okay, we grab these pieces up. And we'll go make a joint, or a hanging joint. A scarf hanging joint. So, here's our, I've drilled some holes ready. Save some time. Um, so imagine this is the wall. We're going to put the uh, bottom portion of uh, our sideways scarf joint and we're going to screw it to the wall. So, now imagine, this could be two inches long, inch long, could be eight feet long. So, extremely strong um, joint and kind of self-seating because you've cut both pieces of wood. They have to fit together if you cut it cleanly. So, now... Here's our other piece that we just cut, right? It's 40 degree cut. It's going to fit straight in there like that. Now imagine this is the thing that we're going to hang. So let's say this is a 60 inch TV, right? Just imagine. God, it's heavy. All right, okay. We're going to screw that to the top portion of the scarf joint. Now, obviously the wall's up straight. Let's do this. Sorry about the camera work. So, here's the wall up straight. And let's look down here. So we made, a, we made this joint right here. So any weight that's pulling down on it is going to intentionally try and, the force is going to go down, try and push against this backboard and try and lever this piece off. So as long as you've screwed this correctly to the wall with whatever fittings that you need to do, just make sure that this bottom fitting and the top fitting are screwed together onto the wall and onto the piece well. Also, you can also adjust it real easy, left and right, just by lifting up a little bit, sliding sideways, and then letting the weight back down. And the weight will actually lock it in. So there's only one other issue that I found. I've done this with uh, 
55, 60 inch TVs um, and some extremely large pictures is the rocking effect. I'll, just, I'll lay it back down. So obviously we've got a gap here. Now imagine that this was 25, 30, 40, 40 inches. You would, you would have a, a rocking effect where the bottom is kind of loose. So when you're cutting your scarf joint, keep a piece of this wood. Obviously this is crude for just showing you purposes. So now, if it's up on the wall, let's put it back up on the wall. Now, imagine it was a great big TV, right? Again with the TV, like TV. If the top portion is on the top bolts and you have two, two of these scarf joints, or one long scarf joint. At the bottom of the TV, there's normally two more bolt holes. And what you can do is put little pads on those. Little pads, I'll show you the pads. Like this part. Just put the little pad on. This is absolutely strong joint, really strong. It will not come off the wall. Plus, when you're ready to take it down, Carefully, if it's a big piece, obviously, just lift it up, take it down, unscrew it, move it, change it. Plus, you have that like left and right motion, depending on how big this piece is. Fantastic joint, cheap, simple, few screws, bit of wood. Good, good. The only, the only hard parts: the table saw or some kind of saw to, you know, hand saw. Hey, you could do it on a. You do it on a bandsaw, you could do it if you're really careful with, um, you know, just a seven and a half skill saw. But, great joint. Enjoy. Subscribe. See you later. Bye.